happy Black Friday weekend. I don't know. What do we want to call it? Happy Thanksgiving weekend. Happy holiday weekend. Happy Saturday. So today I'm going to show you guys my Ninja Foodie. We're going to put some stuff in it. Um, I'm going to share with you while it's cooking a few minutes my top favorite deals. Um, hi, Shelly. If you're here, say hi. Um, if you have any questions about the Ninja Foodie, put them in the comments now because I've had my Ninja Foodie for a year just about a year. I got it last Christmas. So I'm kind of, you know, getting more familiar with it. So I have it right here. Um, so I'm going to share with you the top deals that you guys can still score this weekend. Yesterday, Amazon had the Ninja Foodie for $109, the lowest price ever that I've seen it. It's back up today. Um, Cyber Monday, I'm going to keep an eye on it. You can too. And maybe the Lord again. I don't know. Um, let's see who else is here. Shannon. Hi, Shannon. Lola. Hello. Um, so if you have a question about the Ninja Foodie, feel free to put it in there. Today's giveaway is the Ninja Foodie, and if you look up at the top, um, I dropped the link there, so you can just directly click that and enter it. You're just leaving a comment, and that's your chance to win one of these. I'm picking all of the winners tomorrow, so I've given away 20 things, you guys. So in that post right above, I have all of the other giveaways that you can enter today as well if you have time. So hi, Shelly. So I'm going to show you the air frying setting because honestly, if I had to pick just one thing, oops, I'm shaking the camera, sorry. If I had to pick one thing about the Ninja Foodie, the air fryer is amazing. So if you're like, if you don't win it and this is not in your budget, I would definitely go for an air fryer. Like, I feel like the air fryer is a modern day microwave. Um, let me scroll down because now my comments. So if you're here, say hi. We are hanging out on our last day. Okay, maybe not. 20 days of giveaways. Um, so I'm going to put the camera down to show you guys. So this is my Ninja Foodie. It is pretty large as far as taking up counter space. Um, but I kind of have it over on the side here. So, I mean, you don't have to leave it out. I just leave ours out because we use it almost every single day. And this is the model that you guys are going to get. You have a lot of functions on there. Um, I don't know how well you can really see it. Let me get this out of the way. So on the Ninja Foodie, you can pressure cook your food. You can steam your food. So if I just have vegetables, um, I can steam the vegetables in here. You can slow cook. Um, the slow cooking works awesome. You can sear saute. So like um, if you want to sear, do some onions. I can put the onions in there and they get nice and brown. Um, air crisp, which is the air fryer. Bake and roast. So that's going to make it more like it's in the oven. Um, and then it'll make it crispy at the top and you can also broil um, your items as well and then you can dehydrate food in here amazing so it does all of these things it's super easy to use once you kind of get a feel for it so you don't want to stare at the ninja booty um, oh hi Rhonda she says I have one but you haven't used it yet Oh my goodness, why haven't you used your ninja foodie do you feel intimidated or you just don't know what to put in it kind of thing um, I was like using it right away. So it comes with this little book, which is a big help. Um, it's pretty easy recipes to follow and they give you, um, see those dots? They tell you if it's like easy, hard. So go your first time and use the, the beginner um, things. It also comes with two racks you get in yours. If you win this one, you'll get it too. So this is kind of cool because what you can do in the Ninja Foodie is you can pressure cook and then air fry it. So if you have frozen chicken or ground beef or whatever, you can put that in there. And let's say you put your ground beef at the bottom. So if you open it up, this is the air frying basket. So you can put this in, put your meat in, and then you can put some vegetables on top. So you can cook multiple things at one time. Um, and the thing with this is it comes with a separate lid. So this is your lid for um, pressure cooking. So it seals it um, or slow cooking, all that kind of stuff. Um, and then it's got this little thing, which is very important, you guys. I kept forgetting to put this to seal because you want to vent out the pressure. Um, and then you just put it on and you turn it and it's locked. And then you would do your slow cooking. And this, if you guys... And you see, this lid just hangs out to the side when you are using your pressure. I don't know, that people might not like that. It doesn't really bother me. It's sitting over here anyway. If you're air frying, then you're just using the lid that's on it. 
which you guys, I'm gonna put something in while we're still talking. So it comes with this little basket. This is your air frying basket. This comes off so you can um, clean it and then you just pop it back on, but you need that on. So you put your air frying basket in. You can get a good amount of French fries and stuff in here. Um, we're a family of four and this size works. There is a bigger one um, if you had a larger um, family because I don't know, you just need more food, right? So you just pop it in, um, it's plugged in. So you heat it up like an oven. So we're gonna put some mozzarella sticks in. Um, so you choose, so it always looks like this, that's great. So we want to air fry. Um, you choose what temperature, and in this booklet, there's a standard thing of like basically every single thing you can kind of think of. So it does burgers, bacon, pork chops, salmon, shrimp, fish fillets, fish sticks, french fries. So it gives you an idea of what to put the temperature at and how long. Once you get a feel for your food, then you just kind of know. So for the mozzarella sticks, which you guys were using BJ's brand, let me know if you like BJ's brand mozzarella sticks. I'm going to put it at 390 is the temperature. And about time, I always just do like 15 minutes and then you just hit start. I don't know if you'll be able to tell how loud it is. It's pretty, it's pretty quiet. Um, you let it heat up for just a couple minutes and then you just drop them in. Um, let's see, oh, let me check the comments. So I'm not sure Lola's asking how big of a family would this size be for. I'm not really sure because it depends on what you're cooking. Like you, I, you can put a whole chicken in here. I did a whole chicken on the pressure cooking setting. So a whole chicken can feed um, a bigger size family. So this compares to an Instapot and air fryer because it's in one. So um, I have found that I don't pressure cook my food as much because I, I love the air frying setting. So I put in frozen pre-made burgers, you know, like little patties. I put them straight in here on the air frying setting and it cooked them beautifully and all the grease drips to the bottom. So you're not trying to like do it on the stove when it's cold out or whatever. So I didn't have to pressure cook it. Um, but pressure cooking was great for like frozen chicken breast or a whole chicken, you have to pressure cook it and then you can crisp it when it's done. So if you like um, deep frying food, this is great because you can air fry it instead of deep frying it. Um, okay, so Rhonda says that she is um, keto, or keto, however you say it. <laughs> so she's looking for recipes, which I've done a few recipes on the Frugal Farm Girl for it. Um, and this is pretty much, the booklet it comes with is just pretty much standard everyday recipes. By the way, you guys, chicken wings, the frozen chicken wings in here were delicious, super easy, um, didn't take as long. Oh, thanks, Lola. Um, this looks so easy. Okay, so let's see. We can look at our time. It says 13 minutes, so it's heated up. When you open it up, it stops. So you have your time. I'm going to drop my mozzarella sticks in. This is also great. The kids can do this, you guys, because this, this doesn't get too hot. Look, it's just warm. Um, so I'll put two mozzarella sticks in, and I'm also going to do some of these mini hash browns, just so you can see how nice and crispy it gets. Okay, they're in, this stopped, you close it. So we have it set for 13 minutes. Um, so if you know, okay, this is only gonna take five minutes, you just open it up and you can clear it out. But when the time stops, the whole machine shuts down. So which is another great thing in case you are in the other room and you forget that you have this going. If you set the timer, it's gonna turn off when the time is done. I'm just gonna throw these in the freezer quick. Um, and tell you guys, about these awesome Black Friday deals. Well, this is going, so we'll check it in five minutes. So the $1.99 Hulu deal, you guys, if you have not signed up for Hulu, it's $1.99 a month. That's a really great deal. Just go to Hulu.com. Um, let me see any more comments. Hi, Peggy. Hi, Jess. Um, yeah, come on over. I only made two, so. Um, Debbie says, wow, it looks great. It's super easy. It is, and it's I think the biggest complaint people probably have is the size of it, right? Because you really do need a, a spot to put it. I'm going to show you guys. So when I pressure cook things or it's steaming, when you release the pressure, it's all the steam, which is great for the wintertime. But I have all my plants over here, which needs steam. 
So it kind of works out perfect um, that way because they're getting moisture. Um, so it's great. Oh, someone asked too about the smell. It smells just like when you're going to put it in an oven. So if you're air frying or pressure cooking something that has a strong smell, it will. Um, I did a broccoli cheddar soup in here on the slow cooking setting, and I couldn't smell it with the pressure cooking lid on until I actually opened the lid. So I feel like when the pressure cooking lid is on, it's, it's sealed really tight. Um, so it's been a couple minutes. Yep, we can need a couple more. You can always constantly check it if you're not sure. Um, and it just starts again, super easy. The countdown goes. Okay, so Hulu, um, who went out on Black Friday? Did anybody go? I went yesterday and it was actually really slow. It just seemed like a normal um, shopping day, like a Saturday. Um, let's see, Tony says, love the mozzarella sticks, just hate heating the oven for them. So you will see, this is, you know, really quick. It's about five minutes. It does help to heat it up. Oh, okay guys, I don't know what you want. Do you want me or the ninja foodie here? <laughs> it does help to heat it up, kind of like the oven, but it just, it doesn't take as long. Summertime, so we don't have air conditioning. We have a window units, and in our kitchen, we have no air conditioning because we don't have a window to put it in. This was a lifesaver when you're craving something like comfort food that you want in the oven, but you don't want to turn the oven on. This hardly, you know, heats up at all. So it's perfect for that too in the summer. Um, Cheryl says, hey, good morning from Western New York. Woohoo. Um, hi, Mooka. Yes, the 20 days was fun, you guys. 20 gifts. Did you guys enter all days, all 20 of them? If you didn't, the link is above if you're just joining. That's for the Ninja Foodie to win today, the link above. And then there's also all the other giveaways in that post that you can enter. Um, Peggy, you went to shop right on Black Friday, so you got groceries. <laughs> um, if you missed Black Friday deals, don't forget Cyber Monday. Now it's like everybody's like, Cyber Monday deals are going now, but Monday should be a pretty good day as well to give the last push of online deals. And I'll be sharing them on the site. Muka went Thursday at six and it was busy. Yeah, because they pushed it to Thursday now. So by the time you go on Friday, it's dead. Um, what's another one? Oh, Amazon free time today, you guys, if you have kids for a family. So four kids, this includes, um, is 99 cents for three months. We have this for our kids on their tablets, and it's awesome because they can download whatever games they want, um, books, all that's included in this free time unlimited. Um and you set it up by their ages. So that's 99 cents for three months, so that's a really good deal. Let's check them, because I can smell it. So you can cook it to however you want. You guys want to peek in there and see what they're looking like? Can you see? Let's go, there you go. So it's still, I'd say probably one more minute and we should be good. Mozzarella sticks, you kind of want the cheese to be oozing out, right? Okay, so. The other really good deal, Target. Who's a Target shopper? It's $50 off a $100 holiday purchase at Target. That's like awesome if you need holiday stuff. So that's like Christmas lights, Christmas decorations, all that kind of stuff. $50 off $100. Um, let's see what you guys are saying over here. So exciting. I know. I can't. I'm like, I don't have Taylor here with me, so I hope I'm like, I gotta pick all those winners, but it'll be fine. So Debbie, if you are entering the Ninja Foodie and she said her comment will not post, it could be, have you entered any of the other giveaways? Because if you haven't and you're new to the site and you leave a comment, I have to approve your comment, um, which I will do that after. So if you're not seeing it show up, don't worry, it's probably there. It's probably, I just gotta go in and approve them. Um, are your replacement chairs on the way? So the BJ's thing, you guys, Honestly, I feel like they only did it because I broadcasted it on Facebook. So they said that they're going to be on the way and they were going to let me know when um, to hear from the scheduling. The warehouse haven't heard from them since. So, but it's a holiday weekend. So I'll give them on Monday. Hopefully I'll hear from them. If not already, that's been a few days. So we shall see what happens with that. I don't know. I have no idea. Um, okay. So we're at seven minutes on the timer. I can smell them. So, but look at that. It's like nice and crispy. I mean, they're almost done. They probably need another minute, but really that's pretty good. 
So less, you're not sticking them in the grease, you're not sticking them in the oven. That was pretty quick, you guys, I would say. This is actually perfect because they're not too hot. Really good. The BJ's mozzarella sticks are a really good deal, too. It's like 10 bucks for that huge box. So you can do multiple things, too. So if you didn't have enough room, if you have a larger family, you fill up the bottom, then use these racks, and you fill up the top. Um, and let's say if you want to be done, you just hit stop. It would keep your time there until you actually clear it. Oh, the other cool thing on this is if you're serving your family and you have, let's say, like fish and vegetables and stuff in here, you can just hit keep warm. So when people come back for seconds, it still stays warm, which I love that feature on it. Um, and you just leave the lid open, open, and then you just hit keep warm, and it says, okay, let's keep it warm. Um, what questions do you guys have on the Ninja Foodie, since I have you here? Let's see what else. Is it easy to clean? Okay, so is it easy to clean? When you take this part out, actually, I'll get the thing to show you. Hang on. So you can easily use your oven mitts. It's got two little handles, so you can just pull this out. So this is the pot. This pot comes out that you're going to use a lot for your pressure cooking. Um, it also has measurements inside, which is really nice to see if you have to pour water in. Um, these two, super easy to clean. What is difficult, but not really, is you just need to remember to wipe down on the air fryer this part, which it's easy to wipe down. Um, and it, it's going to look like an air fryer, like the grease, you can kind of see it's brown in here now. Um, I mean, if you really wanted to give it a deep clean, you would just unscrew it, SOS pad it, and it's good. But that's pretty much a year of constant use, and it stays pretty nice. The lid is easy to wipe down. Um, some food crumbs do get stuck in, like, around the edge, but it's easy to wipe out. So I'd say overall, pretty easy to clean. Um, and it's so great. I do not miss having the oil for the deep fryer, trying to save the oil, using all the oil again. Oh, French fries, you guys. You know how you can like, oh, if you don't eat your French fries and you heat them up, they suck? Not in the air fryer. I don't know if it's just the Ninja Foodie, but we put our French fries in here and they taste like they were just made. It's amazing. Um, let's see. Okay, so Debbie says she's entered all the giveaways. I forget when I get close and you guys just see my head. <laughs> Joyce says she loves BJ's. Debbie says, wow, yummy. Um, Jessica says that's awesome. Is it big enough for a whole family of six? So I think that this size would be big enough for a family of six. I think you would just be using your racks more. But the thing is, is even on the air fryer setting, when you, well, this one you can't stick in. You stick this one in. Or the pressure cooking, the lid is up high. So you can really, you know, um, fill it quite a ways. Um, what else on the pressure cooking? I don't know. Do you guys have any questions? I did venison um, beef jerky in here and turned out good. I dried apples in here. Um, I don't know what else. Um, what other questions do you guys have? Is it good for rice? So rice. Okay. Do you guys remember a while ago I was shopping in BJ's? I was so excited for this rice bag, which we still have a ton. So usually you have to let this soak and sit and I did it and then um, Ninja it was amazing. It hardly took any time at all. Actually, I'll look it up in the book because I had to look it up. They have in here for rice. Um, so they have it too, like if you want to dehydrate, all the stuff that you dehydrate, how long it takes. Um, you're steaming, so you can steam your vegetables, asparagus, broccoli, all that stuff. You can poach eggs in here. You can make yogurt in here. Um, so beans and stuff, if you do fresh beans... Um, okay, so it does want you to soak them. It would take three minutes in the pressure cooking once it gets to the pressure time. So that means like you always put in hot water and it takes about five minutes to get to, to reach pressure and then the additional three minutes to cook, you guys, for beans. Um, rice, I'm pretty sure was the same way. Okay, so rice, um, wild rice took 22 minutes. White rice, medium grain takes three minutes once it reaches to pressure. Um, and that doesn't white rice long grain two minutes. Um, so it's super quick. So you're looking at about probably 15, 20 minutes total for rice. That's not, you know, that minute made five minute rice stuff. So that is pretty amazing. Um, 
can you cook saucy things too? So yeah, you can. So let's say, um, what did I do? I did a pizza pasta bacon here, which was a ton of sauce. Um, because you can also use the slow cooking setting as well. So um, I don't know if that's answering the question, but um, let's say like um, you want to saute your onions. So you can throw onions in here, hit it on the saute, cook your onions. Um, then you need to add a sauce in, right? And you want the sauce to boil. Then you can hit, um, um, you no, know, on sear saute, then you can hit it up to high. So you can leave it on a low setting to kind of just, and when you want to boil, whatever in here, you hit it up to high, then you can air fry, whatever. I mean, it's amazing. You can you can pretty much cook anything any way you want in this. It's like, I'm not getting paid for this either, you guys. This is all, I love it. I'm giving it away for you guys. Um, so it turns out like, yeah, in the little um, rice cooker texture. It's I love the texture when it's in here versus over the stove. Like sometimes it gets soggy, you know? This is really good. This is that nice sticky kind of rice. Um, so Peggy says her friend's mom uses an Instapot to make yogurt. Yes, I haven't made yogurt yet because it seems like kind of a lot of work and I just buy the big tub of yogurt at BJ's. So one day I will try it. Um, okay, so Cheryl says I use long grain or medium grain sushi grade rice. Has to be rinsed before cooking. I grew up in Hawaii and that's our go-to rice. Yum. Yeah, you would probably love this then to make rice in it. The size you have personally, is that the size that is being given away? Yes. So this same size, the same model is um, being given away today. So you will get all the functions and you're going to get these extra racks with it, which I find is very nice um, when you want to cook a meat and a vegetable or whatever. In it. Um, what else? There was, oh. Um, the BJ's gift cards, you guys, don't forget the Disney gift cards and some of BJ's gift card deals are ending um, December 2nd. So if you need a deal on a gift card, check out BJ's.com for that. Um, the Ring Doorbell, two BJ's has for $129, same as Amazon. Kohl's had a really good deal on it, but they sold out. So if you still want a Ring Doorbell, $129 is pretty much the price, the good price to go to now. Um, what else did I put in here? The Fire Stick is still $20 on Amazon. That's a really good deal. Oh, if you're a Perks member for BJ's, don't forget, you get free shipping on BJ's.com and you're getting three times the Perks back on a TV or tire purchase. Um, and my last one was the Amazon learning toys. So if you want your kids to, you know, not be on screen so much, these toys interact, use their fine motor skills, all that kind of stuff. They're up to 60% on Amazon today. Um, any other questions on the Ninja Foodie, you guys? I love it. I love it. I love it. Seriously. My KitchenAid mixer was like, if there was a fire, I would bring that. And now, like, I'd be like, I bring my foodie, too. <laughs> like, it's great. It's really, really great. I love it. Um, you add the air frying thing. I mean, reheating a pizza. We don't even use the microwave to reheat food anymore. We put it in the Ninja Foodie. Um, it's great. What else? What else? I think that's it. Um, so you go to the site. The link is right above. You leave a comment. Enter all the other ones because tonight, anybody that leaves a comment, it's not going to count. So tomorrow I'm going to announce the winners. There will be 20 winners um, because I gave away 20 items. And don't worry, there will still be some more giveaways in December. So um, if you don't win anything, don't worry. There will be more gift cards and stuff. I'm going live to announce the winners. I'm probably not going to go live to announce the winners because it'll just be me and it'll be really boring and I have to count. So the way it works is I use this site called random.org um, in case you're wondering how do I pick winners. So the total number of comments, let's say there's 300 comments. I put in random.org 300 and it just randomly picks a number and then that number is the winner. So I'll count the comments, say it's 20. Then whoever left the 20th comment is the winner. Um, you will be emailed the winners too. So that's that. Um, if you are watching the replay, feel free to leave questions on the Ninja. I will look at them. Um, it's really great. It's super easy to use. It kind of feels intimidating at first finding the recipes, but it, it's easy after a few times. Um, you can make banana bread in here, which I have not done yet. Um, so you can bake stuff. There's like a cookie cake in here you can make. Um, casseroles, meats, just, I mean, pretty much, pretty
pretty much everything, you guys. It's amazing. Kind of tells you to. This is kind of cool. It says pick a starch, pick a protein. You can pressure cook it, and then you can finish it off with air frying it. Um, because the air frying thing is just great. Walmart still has the Instapot. Um, do a corporate brand in dollars, not the Ninja Foodie. Okay, so the way Cyber Monday will work is pretty much all of the <laughs> online deals that we had a few days ago. They're like stopping them, you know, this weekend, and then they'll push them out again on Monday. So it'll be all the typical things, um, all the Amazon devices. I don't know what BJ's has actually planned for Cyber Monday, and I really can't remember BJ's Cyber Monday last year, but I'll be at the computer. The kids are back in school, so I'll be looking up deals, sharing with you guys, um, so don't worry. <laughs> uh, let's see. I've never even heard of this, but now I want one. Oh, awesome. Oh, so you know what? I'll drop the link in. So I've done some recipes and videos of me using it the first time on the Frugal Farm Girl, so if you just go to the frugalfarmgirl.com, type in Ninja Foodie. Otherwise, I'll drop the links in when I'm done on here because I show how I did my whole chicken, a frozen chicken breast you can put in it, and it's amazing. And they don't taste like if you were to put throw frozen chicken in the oven because of the pressure cooking. Um, let's see. Peggy says, thank you for the review. Now I want this even more than before. I know. It's amazing. And BJ's, you guys, has been the cheapest price at $189. I think it's at $179 now. But Amazon yesterday at 109 was amazing. If you can get it for around $100, that's a deal, seriously. Um, and think about it. Like the, the Instapot is like 70 bucks. You're getting an Instapot plus an air fryer plus dehydrator plus a slow cooker. So from a frugal standpoint, this is an all-around really, that's worth 100 bucks for sure. Um, yeah, so Michelle's saying BJ's has big TVs and 15% back in rewards. So if you are a BJ's Perks Rewards member, the TV deals are really good. TV prices have come down so much. You can get like a 50-inch TV for like 300 bucks now. It's crazy. Um, so check that out. And you can order online and get free shipping if you're a BJ's Perks member. But we all know how BJ's online shipping is. So that's a, a gamble there. Um, so yeah. You guys, I hope you enter. I hope you, if you don't win it, um, put this on the Christmas list, ladies. It's amazing. It's amazing. And I am sharing a lot of online deals in the Saving Money at BJ's and Beyond Facebook group. So if you want to hop over there, um, that's what I got. So I hope you guys have a great day. If you go out this weekend, have fun shopping. And stay tuned for Cyber Monday. If you feel like you missed deals, there will be plenty more on Monday. This is the, I'll give you a final view of this Ninja Foodie here, give you a, the actual size of it. So I just keep it here. It is heavy, so this would be a really big pain in the butt to pick it up and move it into your cupboard. Um, I have it over here with my amazing Ninja coffee maker as well. And like I said earlier, I was like, the steam is really good for my plants. <laughs> um, so yeah, you have two lids, so you have to kind of store a lid. But it's got tons of functions, easy to use, your temperature, set the time. Like I said earlier, if you're just joining, when your time goes up, it turns off. Um, this isn't because I hit keep warm. And just turn it off. Boom. Yeah. So that's it, you guys. All right. Have a great day. Thanks for checking it out. Thanks for entering the giveaways, you guys. It's awesome. I hope you had fun. Um, I really, really, really am so excited that I can give 20 things away to you guys. So. We will announce the winners tomorrow. All right. You know what? I might come on live and just say the winners in a list. Not like last year. You know how we went back and picked them all. I think I'll do that. I'll come on and say the winners and go from there. All right. So check out the site, mybeachwholesale.com. Enter those giveaways because today, this is it. This is the last day. All right. Have a great day.